family has asked us to do two things. First, they want the good name of Bryce Ogden cleared. Secondly, they want police policies changed so this doesn't happen again and we don't get another innocent victim. Bryce Ogden was a senior citizen, but he was active and alert. In fact, we want the public, we want everybody to know that he was a good man, a careful driver, he was alert and active, and he would be with us today, but for the inexcusable conduct of a police officer acting like a cowboy on the streets of our city. This officer was going almost 100 miles per hour in a busy commercial residential area in front of an elementary school, Merrill Road Elementary School, in the middle of the day, all to see if he should give a $30 ticket. This conduct on the part of the police officer should be a clear and easy case of a violation of police policies and procedures. It should have been condemned explicitly and immediately. It's now been over two months since Bryce was killed by this inexcusable conduct. An inexcusable violation of police policy itself is inexcusable. This delay suggests that in some cases this conduct can be condoned. Now we asked for, when we started to investigate this, uh, we asked for the policies of the police department that might cover the conduct in this situation. The two policies that we got were traffic stops in the traffic stops we see much blacked out. We got the policies for vehicular pursuits. We again see many policies blacked out. It sends the wrong message. I mean, when we sit back and we say, uh, the, the other police officers are saying, thinking, I mean, why haven't, why hasn't been this been immediately explicit? Why can't we say as a matter of policy that driving this way in this situation is a clear violation of the policies of our department. It should be.